Joining me now is Democratic Congressman Mike Quigley of Illinois. He is co-chair of the Congressional Ukraine Caucus, and he also recently returned from that war-torn country. And, Congressman, I definitely want to talk about uh, your trip in just a second. But first, you served uh, for a number of years on the House Intelligence Committee. What do you make of the news that we've had uh, an arrest for ISIS affiliation here in the U.S., especially in the wake of that attack we saw in Russia that was attributed to ISIS-K. I realize you haven't been briefed on this specific attack, but you, can you help us understand what this means in context? Sure. I mean, look, I served eight years on the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, and uh, I guess what you learn every week is uh, eternal vigilance must be there. Uh, those, uh, those threats, uh, internationally inspired but domestically uh, drawn out, are a very real threat. In July and then August, we're going to have two conventions that show that our country can operate as a democracy. And we had to fight very hard to get the security money for that, $75 million each. Americans need to be reminded that domestic and international threats exist, and we must be vigilant. Congressman, let's talk about your trip to Ukraine. Uh, you just returned after meeting with President Zelensky, and he has been warning that Ukraine will lose the war if Congress doesn't send help and do it relatively quickly. What did you hear from him, and how confident are you that you and your colleagues can deliver for him? Sure. Uh, look, I've, I've met President Zelensky six times since the war started, three times in Ukraine. He always begins with an extraordinary level of gratitude uh, to the United States and the American people, and then a very clear-eyed assessment of the battlefield situation. Um, you know, he has a limited amount of sources, resources he can draw upon. They're doing all the dying here. But uh, Putin will send an infinite, seemingly infinite number of his own people, treating them like cannon fodder. Uh, so uh, their democracy, uh, democracy in Eastern Europe is at risk here. And there's a very real risk that if we don't get this done, that will uh, be in danger. Uh, I'd like to think this is certain to get done. But uh, it's really up to Speaker Johnson. Uh, the fact is, about half the Republicans support this measure in the House and uh, the vast majority of Democrats. If it was on the floor, it would pass. Would you personally be willing to help Speaker Mike Johnson retain his job in the face of a challenge from Marjorie Taylor Greene if he puts aid to Ukraine on the House floor? You know, I think what has to happen is discussions between the leadership. I, I think Speaker McCarthy would still be Speaker McCarthy if he had been willing to have those discussions. You know, I don't know exactly procedurally how it would be done, but uh, if we're going to do a supplemental that rebuilds our infrastructure, including the, the bridge in Baltimore and, uh, you know, funds Ukraine and Israel and other entities appropriately, uh, I think a deal can be done. It, it could be an attendance problem on the Democratic side. I certainly have no sympathy and support for Marjorie Taylor Greene and the extreme far right. Uh, in the end, partisanship aside, we have to function as a government. Uh, I talked with Fiona Hill yesterday, and her message is always, our political dysfunction is a national security threat. We have to show that we can work together. Congressman, a couple of your Republican colleagues, including Congressman Turner over the weekend with my colleague Jake Tapper, have said that they see Russian propaganda coming into Republican talking points. Do you agree with that? And if so, how do you combat that? Uh, look, look, you can see these talking points in Russian TV. Uh, we have no pity for him. Uh well done, Republicans. They're standing firm. That's good for us. This is right off Russian TV after we voted down a measure. And again, I respect Representative Turner. Uh, I respect the 100 or so Republicans who support uh, you know, Ukrainian aid. But uh, I'm, I'm very concerned for my country that a very small number of extremists are able to wag the body politic, the dog, the tail wagging the dog. Uh, and the expression we use for people who are apologists for Putin, uh, sort of useful idiots, um, and they're useful to Putin, but they're dangerous to our national and international security. All right, Congressman Mike Quigley. Congressman, I really appreciate you being here early in the morning. Thanks very much.
Glad to do it. Thank you.